Hey everyone, it's Flames Trading. Uh, welcome to week one of my trading challenge from ten thousand dollars to one million um, as a Canadian investor and investing in Canadian stocks. So in today's video, I'll showcase um, my current holdings, how much I'm invested in, and what industries I think are going to really grow in the future, as well as my picks and why I chose them. So currently, I have four accounts. I have three accounts with Wellsimple. I also have a TFSA with uh, RBC. So we'll start off with my personal account. So um, first off, this is one of my growth stocks. I see I own a lot of growth stocks. So the reason being, when you have a small amount of uh, money, you want to make sure that you increase your growth potential. I could get into a safe stock like um, uh, a lot of the big investors, the big money do, but the growth of uh, increase will be a lot slower. When you are when you have a small amount, you want to just increase your growth potential as much as possible, as uh, as risk doesn't matter as much because you're working with small amounts. So, the first uh, one I have is AT ticker symbol. I am actually down a lot on this play. Um, the reason being, I bought the stock on its earnings, and then what happened was the earnings actually plummeted the stock and it's down a lot. But I do see uh, future growth potential for the stock, so I'll be holding it for sure. Uh, we're not doing trading here, so uh, we have a lot of time and we will be holding this for the long term from years from now and then definitely will be profitable by then. Um, so next talk I have is BCE. Um, if you live in Canada, you will know about Bell. Uh, it is a phone provider as well as an um, internet provider. Also, the main reason I bought this is because of their cellular service. Um, as with uh, COVID uh, becoming less prominent and uh, people just going back, in using data more and more, the stock is definitely going to go up. Um, next talk I have is Cineplex. Um, this is a pretty good uh, play for me. So the reason I bought this stock is um, it's not a long-term hold because the company isn't making that much money. And even before uh, COVID, they were uh, declining with streaming services. But the reason I have this is cheap. And also with COVID and during the summer, most people are going to want to go to the movies. So this stock is definitely going to see uh, revenue increases and the stock will increase as well. Um, so this is my only dividend play. I try to avoid dividend plays and just go for growth stocks because I'm looking for um, high risky, high, high risk, high reward plays instead of stable income. Uh, but once I have a lot of money accumulated, I would definitely be investing more into dividend stocks such as this. Um, this stock gives me 17.55 yield, which is insane. It's one of the highest yields I've found. So that's why I just, just just to increase um, profits as much as possible, I have this stock. Uh, it's actually up a lot as well, so that's really nice as well. Okay, so this is another one of my growth stocks. This is what I'm really bullish on. This is in the gaming industry. Um, the gaming industry is increasing at a very rapid rate. Um, primarily, and it wasn't even affected that much by COVID, um, but the reason I have this stock is that this company revenue is increasing at a good pace. They're also expanding. There's a lot of acquisitions going on. And this company is a overall really good uh, bullish play for me. Um, next one, I have FLT, another growth uh, play. So this is in the drone industry. Drone industry is definitely going to be a major player in the long run. But the reason I have invested too much into the stock is, for one, I think it's a bit overvalued. It could be, You could even look for cheaper. And the company isn't making that much money already. This is going to be a really long-term hold, like 5, 10 years def uh, you would have to hold this. So definitely, I'm not that bullish as opposed to my other um, other stocks. So another stock is uh, GDNP. This is in the food sector. Um, they make plant-based plant uh, products. This is another stock I have good conviction in, and their financials are not bad as well. So uh, in terms of my next play, this is in uh, green uh, renewables, green land renewables. This is in the uh, green energy sector, which I'm very bullish on. The industry for renewable energy is going to be increasing rapidly. Uh, we've seen it with Biden and his uh, climate change um, fights as well. So this stock I'm very bullish on, and it's a good stock as well. And you, uh, their financials are good as well. So this stock, HEO, I just made a video about this as well. But they're a water-based company that work on making unusable water into drinking water, which is going to be huge as well because water, water is scarce. It's a limited resource. As that decreases, this company will be able to provide more water, which is going to be huge as well. Definitely see this play, this stock going a lot, and this stock is up on like 12% for the day as well. 
So Lightspeed, this is like a Shopify um, growth stock. This is one of my premium stocks, um, but it's it's had insane growth for the year, and I do see this uh, going even uh, further in the upcoming years as well. Uh, Magna International, this is in the auto industry as well, uh, but this is one of my premium growth stocks, which I has already increased it for a good amount, and I see it going much further as well. So this is my growth stock in AI, MTRX. Um, AI industry is obviously growing. Um, I'm pretty bullish on this stock as well, and that's why I have it. Um, this stock is in the health industry, and this is another one of my growth stocks. So the thing about growth stocks is um, they're going to increase rapidly, but they don't give you dividend. So it's always high risk, high reward, but that's what my strategy is. And I want to see as much income as possible in a short period of time while also investing. So I, I never sell. So industries that are good, stocks that have good financials, stocks that are cheap, not uh, extremely cost efficient, uh, costly. So like uh, you can obviously invest in good stocks like good companies like Microsoft, Facebook. But all those companies are really uh, expensive. So it's much more efficient to just uh, invest in penny stocks or cheap companies that have uh, good industries and high potential. So Standard Lithium, uh, another good stock. This is, uh, they provide batteries for EV as well. Um, very bullish on the stock. This stock is going to be huge in the upcoming years. Um, so this solar is also in the green industry, green uh, energy industry. Also really bullish on this, and this stock is very cheap as well, so I've uh, used the opportunity to buy a lot. So if you know about Warren Buffett, um, the next stock, Suncor, is the only Canadian stock that he owns. This stock is actually very good, and it's uh, a lot less than its uh, pandemic levels, but they've been increasing at a really good rate. Um, the company has good management, and the financials are not bad either. So definitely good stock, a bit premium if you're, if you're looking for penny stocks for me, but... I uh, honestly I would add more to the stock as well because of how fast they've been increasing and their growth is very good. But the industry you don't want to hold for too long either. This is not a long long term like some of my options here. Um, last uh, growth stock I have is Bell Health, uh, Bell Health Technologies, and this is in the telemedicine. Um, they they their stock that grew really big during the COVID where you can use uh, doctors online. Uh, but I still see the stock going further even after COVID is finished because people are going to still want to um, use doctors online and avoid the hassle of actually going in, waiting for long uh, appointments and whatnot. Okay, so this is my portfolio. Uh, I'll be doing daily uploads on the progression of my portfolios in the future as well. This is just week one. Uh, we are still up. Uh, we're up actually a good amount in this week. Um, so that's always nice as well. Okay, so next uh, next uh, account is my TFSA. So as of right now, I actually just been transferring over. Uh, I, have, I still have a lot of capital, 601, and I also have 265, which is just being transferred. It takes a couple of days. Um, but I do own uh, some of the similar stocks that I own my the portfolio. So I got this on discount, so that's why I just bought this on the dip. Um, very bullish on this one. Same with this one. These are my green energy sectors, of which I'm very bullish on in this in industry. Um, as we see with carbon and issues with global warming and whatnot, it's going to be a very, um, it's going to be a huge industry as well, and it's going to be an emerging sector. Market is emerging as well. It's increasing at a fast pace. I currently have 1,700 that's going to be deposited around tomorrow. I'm just going to be putting that into Ethereum uh, because I see Ethereum going to around 2,000, 3,000 at the end of the year. Um, and that's going to definitely be a uh, good investment for the long term. Okay, so in terms of my um, RBC account, we have currently one stock, and that stock is uh, Berkshire Hathaway. If you're familiar with um, Warren Buffett, you would know about this company as well. So in terms of investment, I put in uh, $4,172 Canadian, as well as um, that's translated to USD because this is uh, created in, uh, in the U.S. So this stock is really good, and this is one of those stocks that has really good financials. So even if uh, something like a market crash occurs, this stock will always rebound. It has continuous growth, and this is one of those stocks like where it's worth putting uh, your savings into because it will always be growing, and it's a good investment in that regard. And they've been having continuous growth um, as well as their financials are very solid.
Um, if you just look right here, their revenue is growing, their income is growing. Obviously, they had a dip because of the COVID, but they've been very consistent with their income. They ha they're not losing money. Um, their return on assets is good. Their return on equity is good. Um, they have very low debt. So overall, just a very good stock. And um, they're very good in terms of their industry as well. And they're, they're into multiple industries as well as they're growing rapidly in terms of their each industry as well. So um, this is the one I have for TFSA. All right, this video has been on a long side, so I'll try to end the video now. Um, I do try to keep my video short because I know everyone can be busy. So in terms of um, Wealth Simple, if you're in Canada, it's a zero commission brokerage, which is the, honestly the best because you're saving a lot of fees. And especially when you have a small account, you want to be uh, saving those fees because that can really add up to your profit. Um, if you want to follow my journey from 10K to 100K to 1 million, please uh, look to subscribe and you'll be able to see daily videos. Also, I'll leave my referral link in the description below. You can always um, follow that link and it'll help you get uh, free $10 when you uh, deposit $100. So thank you for watching, guys. Appreciate the support. Have a wonderful rest of your day.